So let's go a little bit deeper into some of these capabilities. So life cycle workflows, and this is, you know, the employee life cycle kind of capability. This is what, you know, just uh, Jeff was talking about the joiner mover lever. When a, an, an employee joins the organization, think about all the things that that, per, that user needs to, that, that needs to happen behind the scenes. So that user will need to have some things provisioned in some systems. They may need to have, uh, you know, some uh, credentials provision and, and they need to be productive on day one. And then of course you can, you will be able to manage all that process, you know, certain days before the, the person joins and what are the different tasks that need to happen before there. So basically you with this capability, you can schedule tasks to occur before a join or after join or on a leave date. So the, that and that completes the full cycle, right? So an employee coming to the organization, these are all the things that need to happen. So day one, that user is productive. They have all the, it is provisioned across all the different applications that they need to be provisioned. They have the credentials, they everything that they need to. And then at the very, 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 very end, when that person goes uh, and, and leaves the organization, then of course there could be, there should be a lot of deprovisioning tasks that need to happen. There need to be, uh, making sure that there is really no no lingering access before even you know that account is deprovisioned from enter ID and other systems as well. And then of course in the middle you have the life cycle of that identity could now that person could change departments. Now if that person comes into the finance department, they might need to be provisioned to very specific applications. That if now that person leaves that finance department, then of course it would be critical to deprovision that user from those critical finance applications. So this is the joiner mover lever uh, type of, uh, of capabilities. Um, and then, I, yeah. I was gonna say the key word that stands out to me is automate, right? So I, I yes. mentioned earlier that every organization is doing these tasks, whether they're doing manually today, they may be automating some of them. But one of the things is that when you automate these kind of life cycle tasks, right, you get um, a, a, efficiency, right? You have the ability for admins not having to manually do this. I don't have to send an email to an admin or fill out a service ticket to go do these actions. I can automate them. Number two is uh, it's repeatable, right? Meaning that this process can be the same over and over again. An admin may skip a step or miss a step because it becomes manual, right? And mm -hmm. the third is reportability, right? Now I've got visibility into what actually was going to happen, what did happen, and what was the audit events related to it. So now we're bringing all of that automation from efficiency, repeatability, and auditability onto the core feature. So it's something I think every customer benefits from. And the key thing here is also it's non-coding. Like if you've ever deployed an IGA solution that has a lot of co custom coding management uh, and supportability of that code to do those tasks, it could become a challenge for many orgs. So this is why we believe in having our workflow based with no code or low code um, Azure logic apps, which are already used by the organization. So we think it'll bring this automation capability to more customers because it's approachable and achievable unlike previous uh, scenarios. Yeah, yeah, and, and that does right. And, and now you will see, and, and if we're invited back to this show, we'll, we'll maybe we will all <laughs> to have a, a deep dive on lifecycle workflows, but you will see that there are templates that we have created for the most common typical, you know, uh, automations that need to happen for joiner, mover, and lever. But then there's this, uh, you know, extensibility capability that you can really do whatever you want. So if you're familiar with logic apps, then you can really go and fetch from different systems, get additional checks into the process, whatever it is, and that will really be uh, very flexible from that perspective.